Hello guys, today we're going to make a lovely cheese and marmite pull apart bread. So many lovely words, let's go make it. Let's start by putting in our butter and we're going to melt the butter so that we can give it a really nice lovely atmosphere and it gets incorporated really well when we're kneading our dough. Now we're putting in the milk and I just use, I use whole milk usually because I quite like the extra flavour but you could go almond milk or soy milk if you really want it and I'm going to add a little bit of sugar. Sugar really enhances the flavour in bread and gives it just a really nice texture and also helps our yeast grow up really nicely. And now we're going to warm this up, add a bit of marmite. Now this depends really how much you like the taste of marmite or you could use Vegemite as well if you're uh, really keen on it. Um, I actually only add in about a teaspoon for the entire mixture. That would be more than enough to create a really lovely strong flavour. Now that our milk is nicely warmed up, we're going to add in our flour. And I use a strong white bread flour for this one because I really want to make sure we get a nice, really good bready texture for our rolls. I also add in eggs and the eggs will actually counteract the flour a little bit and will create a really nice soft inside whereas the bread flour creates a really nice crunchy outside. So they'll be the perfect gooey treats on the inside, especially the nice cheese that goes in later. And we're also going to add in some salt just to make sure we have the right flavour as well. Don't add too much salt into this one because you already have the marmite and the marmite will already create a huge amount of flavour. So add a little bit less than you usually would. And then we're gonna knead it. Our dough is finished and this is what it looks like. Now you could proof this overnight in the fridge or you can just leave it at room temperature for a good one to two hours. The dough is quite soft, so just be mindful. So the fridge will actually help it to firm up a little bit overnight. And if you really want some extra flavor, that's a great one. So I'll see you once this guy's proved and we're gonna have a look at the cheese. Our bread dough has been proving properly and before we are going to roll it out, we're just going to grate some cheese. And I've just got some cheddar cheese here, nice mature cheddar. And I'm going to pop it right in and grate it for about five seconds. We've now floured our surface and I'm going to take this lovely risen dough, pop it upside down, release my mixing bowl and blade, let it drop down nicely. Wow, look at that. And then I'm going to remove the blade, just make sure that you don't hurt yourself there and be very careful. Let's add in half of our cheese and the way I do it is by just giving some little holes by poking with my hands, then pouring over half of the cheese, like this, that's about half, and then work them in by folding it over itself once, like that, flattening it again, folding it over by itself again. And this dough is a little bit more sticky, so work with a dough scraper and a little bit of extra flour. It should work really well for you. This is how I just incorporate the flour nicely and not end up with some, sorry, the cheese nicely um, and not end up with a bit of cheese here and a bit of cheese there. I want cheese all over. This looks really nice. Right. Yummy. Now we're going to divide these into 50 gram balls. So I'm making the balls by just cutting off a tiny piece. Um, Either you can judge it about 50 grams or you can put it on top of your mixing bowl and actually measure it accurately. And then you just form them into a nice, stable, tense ball. Not too long because they're quite um, sticky. And then you just place them right onto your baking tray in small little gaps around each other until you have a really nice, round, pull-apart turn chair bread. Before we let these guys rise, we're just going to take half of what you've got left of this cheese and we're just going to sprinkle them into the cavities. Essentially, get even more cheesy goodness, but you don't really want it on top of the bread roll. So just be sure not to sprinkle it on top because that's what we're going to do later with the rest of the cheese. This just creates a really nice, cheesy extra bit when you tear it apart it's going to be so so gooey it's going to be so amazing now that it's nicely tucked in we can finally cover it up 
and leave it to rise for another hour or so until it's nicely proved, doubled in size, and then we can go ahead and bake it. Our bread is now ready to go right into the oven. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Yummy. It's risen really nicely, and I've left it kind of near the oven, so it does really well. Now, I'm gonna pop them in the oven for about half an hour. In the meantime, I'm gonna make myself a little paste with Marmite and a bit of boiling water that I can then sprinkle over, and then some more cheese, and then, oh, yummy goodness. Right, let's put it in. Perfect. It's been about half an hour now, and I've just looked at these guys, and they look amazing. I kind of want to eat them already, but I know I can't quite yet, so we're going to take them out very quickly, if I can take them out. Here we go. Wow! Brush them with a tiny bit of Marmite, dissolved in some boiling water. You get a few, you're not the biggest fan of Marmite, and you already found that's quite a lot that I've added into the dough. Don't add that much more now. So just dissolve it quite a lot in a, a lot more water than you would. And I have added quite a bit of Marmite because I love it. And then we're going to sprinkle over some cheese just to get some extra cheese going. And then we can tuck into it in a moment. These guys are still quite warm actually, but you know what, a really good tear and share bread is best eaten when the cheese is still warm. So I'm gonna tuck in to a bit that's not that hot, so I don't burn myself. So I'm gonna go and take ooh, some of this. Look how fluffy it is. It's like, and look at that, gooey, nice cheese. I think I'm just going to bite into it at the risk of burning myself. Mm. Look at that. Wow. Mmm. It's like a Marmite cheese sandwich for breakfast, but you could just have that all day. It's so good, guys. So go make it. Make it for your next dinner party, birthday party, whatever you want to do, and tuck right into it while it's still warm. And make a nice dip on the side. And for more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube.